Welcome, and let us journey back 2,000 years ago. You are no longer sitting and being yourself. You are now an ancient individual. Picture yourself in an ancient church. Church was not a grand cathedral or a big building like these. The early apostles and saints used synagogues, Jewish gathering places, to preach the gospel of Jesus. But they would soon be casted out of the synagogues because of the gospel was too scandalous. Since they could not find an official worship place, they began to establish house churches. The early church had a complex relationship to the world they lived in. Pagans and Jews targeted Christians and persecuted the church. Believers could no longer hold their meetings in public. Their homes were natural hiding places so that they may continue to worship and so forth. Now the worship of an early Christian house church probably centered around the dinner table. They don't necessarily all sit facing forward like today, but rather they're in someone's dining room, in the center of their activity, in real fellowship. The term communion actually comes from the experience of dining in fellowship. We need to remember that dining is one of the hallmarks of early Christian practice, almost from the very beginning. All the gospel traditions tend to portray Jesus at the dinner table as a very important part of his activity. When we look at the context of Paul's letter, especially 1 Corinthians, the role of dining in fellowship is central to all Christian understanding and practices. Everyone is contributing to the banquet. Whether it's a form of food, in form of piety and worship, the Bible we hold contains many stories, stories that were passed down orally through family and believers. Who first came to see Jesus? They are witness accounts through storytelling. We are fortunate now to have copies and copies of special scripture, but this was not in the early church. They may have not been anything written about Jesus yet, or they may have come to one manuscript, and one who was educated in reading it would read it to the congregation. In this case, we are going to take the approach of the one who knew the story of Jesus through storytelling by memory. Let us journey into the hearts and minds of ancient Christians. And let us listen now to Mark, a helper of Peter, who has come to our house church to share the knowledge and eyewitness accounts of Jesus. The death and resurrection happened just recently. Let this story be fresh and relevant in your lives. Comencemos ahora, es el tiempo. El reino de Dios está cerca. Arrepiéntanse y crean. Porque Dios está aquí y las buenas nuevas, escúchenlas. Let us begin. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is near. Repent, believe, in the good news. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see. I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice crying out from the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, and make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, wearing a leather belt around his waist, a lotus and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in Jordan. And as he arose from the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. And the spirit drew Jesus into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness for 40 days, tempted by Satan, was with the wild beast. And the angels waited for him. Now after John was arrested, 
Jesus came into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God, saying, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe in the good news. As he passed the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew, who were, in, who were fishermen, and they cast their nets into the lake. Jesus said, follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. Immediately they dropped their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in the boat, mending their nets. Immediately he called them. They left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were amazed, astounded, for he had taught as one who had authority and not as a scribe. Just then, in the synagogue, a man with an unclean spirit cried out with a loud voice, What do you have to do with Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are! The Holy One of God! But Jesus rebuked them and said, Be silent and come out of him! Immediately the unclean spirit cried with a loud voice, and he came out of him!